Yes guys, welcome to a brand new video. My name is Conan and today we're going to be talking about one of, if not the smartest strategies that you could use as a busy professional man to still keep your diet in check and that is called calorie banking. And now balancing a demanding career and maintaining a healthy lifestyle can someone be pretty challenging, especially when it comes to managing your diet and the food you put into your mouth, right? Um, so if you're a busy professional right now looking to shed some pounds without feeling deprived over the summer, Calorie banking may just be the solution that you need. And now you're probably wondering to yourself, Conan, what the heck is calorie banking? So calorie banking basically is just a flexible dining strategy that allows you to manage your calorie intake over the week rather than sticking to a strict daily limit. So instead of thinking of like the day to day, we're thinking more so of like the week to week averages when it comes to like how many calories you're gonna be consuming, right? And so by saving or banking calories on certain days, you can afford to consume more on others, which is kind of cool, right? So this approach can make social events, parties, business dinners, and indulge in weekends a lot more manageable without necessarily derailing from your fat loss goals. This is something that I personally use. Some of my clients as well, who tend to either go out on the weekends or tend to enjoy larger meals when they go out on the weekends, for example, whether it's eating dinner, um, this can be really beneficial to still make sure you're on track with your fat loss goals, right? And so how does this actually work? So here's a really simple breakdown on how you can implement calorie banking efficiently. So the first step that you have to figure out is calculate your weekly calorie budget. And you do this by starting to determine your daily caloric needs for fat loss. So whatever calories you need, whether it's 3000 calories, 500 or whatever may need, right? So first things first, find your maintenance calories. So how many calories you need to maintain your body weight. And then from there, simply subtract around 500 calories from that number. If you want to lose around one pound a week, right? You can do a thousand calorie deficit if you want to lose two pounds, but 500 to 1,000 calorie deficit from your maintenance number is a good kind of number to sit around to lose one or two pounds a week. Um, so you're basically gonna take that number, multiply this by seven to get your total weekly calorie allowance, right? Um, so for example, if your daily target is 2,000 calories, your weekly budget would be around 14,000 calories. And so the second tip now is that you're gonna have to plan ahead. So look at your upcoming week and identify days when you want to consume more calories and when you want to consume less calories. So this could be for business dinners or weekend outings, or maybe you're going to a party or a special occasion, right? And then on the other days, aim to consume fewer calories to save up for these occasions, right? So hopefully you guys can like get, start, the, start to understand the idea here. So tracker intake is a third tip. So use a food diary or a calorie tracking app like MyFitnessPal, which is one I personally use with all my clients, um, to monitor your calorie intake or your daily calorie intake. Now this will help you stay within your weekly budget and you can also always make adjustments as needed. So let's quickly run you through like a quick little example. So let's say um, your goal is to consume 14,000 calories over the week. Here's how you made, how you may might distribute that. So on Monday, you're gonna be eating 1,800 calories. So you get to save or bank 200 calories, right? Um, Tuesday, same thing, 1,800 calories. Wednesday, same thing. Thursday, same thing, 1,800 calories. And then come Friday, um, because now you've pretty much saved a bunch of calories, um, you're gonna be eating 2,200 calories. So you're gonna be using only 200 calories or 200 of the banked calories that you saved from Monday to Thursday. So again, Monday through Thursday, we were in a 200 calorie banking deficit. So that is around 800 calories left. And then on Thursday, or no, sorry, on Friday, you're just gonna be using 200 of those, of those 800 banked calories and pretty much eat 2200 calories right and then saturday you're going to be eating 2500 calories or you're going to be using 500 banked calories and then on sunday you get to eat 2100 calories and just use 100 banked calories right so as you guys can tell um and this is pretty typical on like a normal working schedule monday through friday you're pretty much in your routine right you're not going to be doing anything crazy hopefully you're not going to parties on monday through friday right and it's also a great time just to like be disciplined with everything right because you're already going to work right you're working really hard um and then you also got the weekends to not only look forward to when it comes to 
taking off work, relaxing, but then you also get to look forward to um, actually eating a bit more food, right? Again, well, maybe you have this special dinner lined up for maybe Friday night or Saturday night or this party that you want to go to, something like that, right? And so by banking 200 calories on four days, you pretty much get to save 800 extra calories to enjoy over the weekend and on special occasions, right? So um, some of the benefits of calorie banking is number one, flexibility. It allows you to still enjoy social events and dining out without any guilt. Because I think a lot of people have this mindset of, okay, as soon as I start a new diet, as soon as I decide that I'm gonna lose body fat, that means that I can never eat out again, right? And that can be further from the truth. Um, when I did my bodybuilding show a couple of years ago, um, like I literally use this exact strategy. I use it to this day right now as well. And um, yeah, it just allows me to still go out with my friends. I don't know if you guys see my Instagram stories, but I love eating sushi, um, one of my favorite meals. And yeah, I can still do that while maintaining a six pack while um, losing body fat um, because I literally use this strategy. So that's the first kind of benefit is flexibility. Now, the second thing here is it adherence, which is arguably one of the most important things because if you cannot sustain your fat loss diet, you're not gonna be achieving the results that you want, right? Because in order to lose the body fat, not only are you gonna to have to stick to something for some time, like actually staying consistent with that is actually when you see most of your, your results. And so if you can't adhere to something, chances of you seeing results are gonna be very, very slim, right? And so this method, calorie banking, can make it so much easier to stick to your diet in the long term um, by reducing feelings of restriction. And then the last thing here is stress reduction. Knowing that you can still have higher calorie days can definitely reduce the stress associated with dieting because, um, yeah, like it's definitely not fun just waking up every single morning and like, Food is a big thing in our life, in our culture, right? And it's like if you wake up every single morning knowing that you can only eat 1,800 calories, it's like that's pretty depressing, right? It's like you got nothing really to look forward to. It's like even if I wanted to eat out or have a pizza or have a burger, it's like I can't really do that, right? And that really sucks. Like it really, really does, right? And so to wrap things up here, just a couple of tips for success. So the first tip is just be honest with tracking. Accurate tracking is absolutely crucial. Don't underestimate um, your intake or overestimate your savings because if you're going to be doing that, you could very easily um, kind of like ruin this process, right? Because as you guys can tell by this graph, um, it's like, yeah, you're going to be in a deficit, let's say um, deficit 1800 calories and your maintenance is 2300 calories. But then if you're on the weekend, you go over your banked calories like if you eat way more than you should have or way more than you saved it's like yeah at the end of the week if you're still in that surplus you are going to gain weight so really making sure that you keep track of things accurately um still try to be somewhat accurate on the weekends when you do track because yeah like especially when it comes to eating out it's like pizza, burgers, fries, all of these foods are hyper palatable. And basically what that means is that they're so freaking tasty um, and they're so calorically dense, which basically means that it is really easy to overeat on those foods, right? So still be mindful, like don't be an idiot and just completely let loose on the weekends because yeah, I've seen it numerous times before when people try to do this banking strategy, but then they completely fail because they just tend to completely overdo it on the weekends and then at the end of the week, you can tell that they're in the red right here and they're actually either at maintenance back again or they're in a slight surplus and all the hard work pretty much has gone to waste and I definitely don't want you guys to be in that situation, right? And then the last thing here, almost like the opposite end of the, the spectrum is to avoid overcompensating. So don't drastically cut your calories too, too much on the bank days and try to stay within a reasonable deficit just to avoid any metabolic slowdowns or nutritional deficiencies, right? So basically what this means is that if your maintenance calories is 2,300 calories, don't slash your calories down to like 1,000 calories for as long as you can and then just to save up calories because that could drastically, like I mentioned, reduce your metabolism and also even if it's just for a short amount of time, within those days, not only are you gonna feel like trash, you're gonna feel super low in energy, your sex drive is gonna be non-existent, your performance in the gym is gonna suck, your sleep is probably gonna suck as well, um, your hormones are gonna be all out of whack, and um, just like, don't do that. Like, still be within like a, a controlled deficit, um, and then just don't just like completely slash your calories just to like save more calories for um, later on in the week, right? So calorie banking can definitely be a game changer, 
for specifically busy professional men who want to lose body fat without sacrificing their lifestyle. Um, it's all about smart planning and maintaining a balanced approach to eating, right? And now, if you want help, like one-on-one -on -one personalized help with setting up your diet, um, implementing that within your current lifestyle, with your workouts as well, and your daily cardio, and make sure that you're actually making progress week to week, um, please go ahead and book a free consultation call with me. And we'll kind of go over your fitness goals, go over your struggles right now, and help create a game plan to help get you there. So, um, yeah, go ahead and do that. The link is in the description down below. If you guys do have any questions, drop them down below, and I'll see you all soon. Peace.